Get in. Get in. Come on. For most threats, schools have procedures. Students go inside classrooms. Everything is locked shut and parents receive alerts. But many aren't sure what happens if there's a COVID-19 outbreak at their school. We have the safest and the most cautious plan in the entire country. Ontario's plan defines an outbreak as two or more lab-confirmed cases in a school that are linked. When students or staff test positive, local public health units do contact tracing and decide if entire classes or groups should be sent home or if a school should be closed entirely. If a child is sent home with possible symptoms, it's recommended they go see a doctor, but not required. If public health informs a school of a positive case, it must be posted onto a web page but no proof of a negative test result is required for anyone going back to class. It may be an ear infection. They may have a history of that. So we want to be sensitive to the fact that children don't always get sick from COVID. Some parents say the plan doesn't set out clear rules. I think that, you know, what they've put into place so far is still very gray. And, and I, again, with all of the, you know, parents are suggested, it is highly recommended. That says to me that, you know, people have a choice. In Germany, students went back to class weeks ago. There have been infections, but no major outbreaks. Many credit quick testing, contact tracing and managing community spread. But some doctors warn there's always risk. We should expect cases. We should expect maybe a couple of classes to be put online for a week or two as investigations occur. That should not cause panic. He adds, instead of having web pages telling parents there's been a positive case at their school, having clear, firm rules for everyone would give families far more peace of mind. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.